Hey, welcome to Cabin Fever, and I've got from Mackay, Coach Patrick Shelby. Coach Shelby, it's your second season. You will be starting with Mackay, and uh, you know it's probably not the most, uh, probably not the way you thought it was going to go last year, but uh, you know at the end of last season. But how was the off season for you, and how was it getting ready for this season? Well, the off season for us has been pretty good. I mean, the kids, like I said, have always been working extremely hard. We were excited. We felt like we were going in the right direction with our program and with our kids. Uh, you know, everything was going good leading up to spring break. You know, we saw some light having summer strength and conditioning, getting our kids back. But obviously, like a lot of other people across the state of Texas, with having to shut down with everything going on, uh, you know, but – for the most part, being able to do the virtual learning with our kids has been awesome. It's been positive. Uh, the kids have been done a great job of just being a part of it and understanding and and continuing to learn and doing all the things that we've asked. It's been great, you know. So uh, can't wait to get started this year. You know, of course, some there are some places um, who have you know started today. You know, who had that opportunity to start today. Um, you know, our, our time is coming here in the Rio Grande Valley, not just for us, but for everybody else. And so like all the other schools and coaches, I mean, we're just excited and can't wait to get rolling. And, and your district actually got split up. You guys um, got split with your Brownsville and Westlake East counterparts. And you're going to be playing on this side of the valley with the three McAllen schools. You've got uh, Palmview and Donna. Am I correct? Correct. Yes, sir. All right. What do you see when you look at that? I mean, it's not as difficult because you don't have to play Westlake East right away, Brownsville Vets and, and those schools. But at the same time, um, you know, Palmview's new, Donna's new for you guys. What's that been like preparing for that? Well, it's 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 going to be tough. Uh, you know, we, we got to scrimmage Palmview this past season. So we saw a little bit of them. Of course, they still have some amazing athletes returning. Um, the running backs coming back from last year. They also got some other skill guys. They're they're a playoff opponent. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Memorial playoff opponent. Nikki Rowe playoff opponent. Uh, Donna, you know, they're they're always good in what they do. They have a lot of tradition, you know, over there in that school district. And then you know they got a brand new head coach who also has some playoff experience um, that he's bringing to the table also. So um, no doubt, no doubt, it's going to be it's going to be very competitive over here on this side. Um, it's going to be fun. Uh, you know, I think we match up well with our teams that we're going up against. And, you know, I think it's going to be a lot of excitement for everybody. And, and we talked about this before before we started recording, which was Brownsville actually could start earlier than McAllen schools, than the Donna schools, than, than Palmview. How are you guys uh, – how did you guys come to terms as far as coming with a unique start date that's that's similar to both of you guys? Well, you know, first of all, I think it's just a level of, you know, respect in the profession between both sides and understanding what's going on in the world today, especially in the Rio Grande Valley, uh, you know, with with coaches being on the same page uh, uh, because they're dealing with the same things that we are over here in Hidalgo County. Uh, I think that helped us out quite a bit, you know. Um, and then also, I think as a DEC is just making sure that we do have a plan to make sure that our kids can still get out there and participate but also still have an opportunity for the playoffs uh, by the time we reach our district certification that first week in December, you know? So I think the plan that we came up with is, is very good. Um, I think it's gonna allow both sides to have an equal opportunity to one, play district opponents and two, uh, be able to, you know, get into the playoffs. And, and as far as teams in your district, you co actually come back with one of the most experienced quarterbacks. That's got to be a nice feeling to, to, to have when, you know, you had some growing pains last year, but, you know, Hunter Curl kind of rose to the top and, you know, he played he played well at the end of the season. What was that like for you to know that you're going to have him coming back leading, uh, leading your Bulldogs? Uh, it's a good feeling to know that you do have somebody back there who's already gone through it. Um, you know, at a young age, yes, there were a lot of growing pains, you know, uh, but... You know, everything happens for a reason, you know, and now it's his opportunity um, to to be able to be in that position for not only this year, but for another year after that, you know. So glad to have that guy on our side. 
Um, you know, he's very smart in what he does. Um, you know, he just got to continue to keep growing every single opportunity that he has to continue to grow and learn from it and continue to keep getting better so he can be that leader for us, you know, on the offensive side of the ball. All right, a couple more questions, and this one goes back to your district. There's not a lot of wiggle room because you don't really have a, a non-district schedule to get ready for non, for your district. But then you kind of, you know, you've got some rivalry games, you've got Palmview, you've got Donna, and you really can't lose that many games when you when you have this kind of schedule. What do you guys have to do to kind of get get the ship right right away? I think, you know, uh, you know, we just gotta, we gotta come out there and play, you know, uh, we, we, like through this whole course, through this whole period, this whole time that we have right now, you know, I feel like if we, if we use it to our advantage and make sure that we do a great job of preparing, um, of course we can't do it physically, but mentally, which is a huge part in what we do, as long as we can do our best and prepare the kids mentally right now, so that when we do have the opportunity to get out there on the field, it should be it should come to them a whole lot easier. Uh, so we just got to get out there and we got to play, and then hopefully we can have a hopefully we can be ahead of the eight ball on this one with the mental aspect of it. Because uh, at the end of the day, you know, I was always told, you know, to be a great coach, you got to be a great teacher. You know, or be a good coach, you got to be a good teacher. So I hope that you know, you know, the kids are understanding the information we're giving them. I feel I truly feel that they are. I think our coaching staff is doing a great job at that. I think our kids are doing a great job of, you know, being a student of the game first. And, uh, uh, yeah, we just got to get out there and play now once we get out there on the field. Because like you said, I mean, it's going to be tough. We don't have time to, uh, you know, say, hey, we can make it up next game. You know, really with the short schedule, we got to take advantage of every opportunity that the Lord has given us. All right, and how, how good would it be to, to be able to get in the locker room with your kids, you know, have them in the locker room while you're writing on the, on the whiteboard instead of doing it through Zoom? It'll, it'll be it'll be good it'll be real good just to see them in person you know what I mean uh, and and have that face-to-face -face communication and not always through technology you know um, it's it, it'll be great you know I was just saying that today I can't wait to get back to school get back to work and get around the kids and just walk the hallways and see the other faculty and staff there on campus so it, it'll, it'll be a great experience. Well, Coach, thanks a lot for giving us the update on, on your new district, uh, your new district and your new half district, I guess. Yeah. And, and by the way, do you like the way this is set up for the playoffs? Because, you know, it, it's interesting because, you know, you'll get to play the other side of your um, of, of your district, almost like the SEC or like college football. What, what was your take on it? Well, it was new to me. You know, it was new to me. I've never, never been in this situation before with an East and a West. I have talked to some coaches um, across the state who have been in this situation before. Um, so you kind of get the pros and the cons of it. So like you said, it's almost like a college football type deal. You know, you got the East, you got the West and uh, you know, you play it out from there and see what happens, you know, but I, I don't know. I, I, I guess it'll be, I guess it'll be interesting to find out, you know, what it feels like and, and if this could possibly be something that happens in the future, you know, especially with a 10 team district like this. Well, coach, best of luck this upcoming season. And, you know, uh, I hope to be able to see you in person, you know, do these in person instead of doing it over zoom, but thanks so much. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Anytime. Thanks coach. Yes, sir.